the way you will set up your resume. Uh, some of you guys entered uh, boxes in your resume, and so you you did this. You did enter drawing, and then you went ahead and you put your information in here, okay? Because you put text box, and you did this, and then you entered um, social. So you did a bullet. And you did this social realistic and uh, honest just as an example and then you did this and you put another box over here and you did the same thing and so what's happening is um, and then you did save and close so what happens is look at the difference between these words it looks blurred to compare to this okay what you need to do is delete those boxes and a lot of you guys have those boxes delete them and what I want you to do is the following you will uh, instead of writing the box and going on there and doing that you will click shift 8 shift and then the number eight then you'll put social and then you'll do the same thing again shift eight shift eight so you'll do that now you guys see these here okay they're all within each line so um, whatever you type on the left side for example here you can't do the columns on Google Docs. So what you'll do is you'll click in front of that word or at the end of it. You'll click tab, whatever, however many times you need it. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's six. Then you'll do the shift eight. And then you'll put the next set of skills or qualities. So you do the same thing again. Shift eight. And then I'm just giving you guys the idea of the words because they're repeated. Shift eight and then you'll do the same thing again okay um, that's how I want you guys to do the skills and qualities these were there just so you guys can have an example and that's the way you set them up now a lot of you guys did the same thing for your experience okay and then you put all this information into text boxes you did the same thing for all this I don't want you to do that because it's making the resumes look weird from the sizes. So what you will do is you do the same thing. So you'll put, so I'm just going to delete that as if it wasn't there. So you'll experience July 2011, August 2011, and then you'll do the same thing. If you have two like this person might have to you'll go here before you even click enter and then you'll put the next one now you click enter and then you do your title tab it then you'll do the same thing here uh, nurse if that was your title click enter then you do the next section which is the address I'm just putting some crazy street. And then the same thing, trap it. And so on and so forth. Click enter, you'll put the city. And then you'll do the same thing. So on and so forth. So that's how you do this information here okay so when you get to the section where you put duties I'm just gonna skip the information I am in charge of working with others now I wanna go and click enter 
because otherwise if I keep typing over to the right it's gonna keep on rolling and it won't let me type anything up for this person here for this work history working with others like go down here um, and I want to go here uh, so on and so forth so it'll be this way now I want to put the one for this guy here so I'm gonna tab it then I will do the same thing duties and then in charge I'm gonna put the same thing I'm gonna go here again Remember, I didn't click enter because if I click enter, it moves that spot over. I do not click enter. I could click my cursor there and click tab and it'll go right to where it needs to go. In charge of working with others, if that's what I would want to write, and so on and so forth. So remember, the biggest trick is that if you click enter here, it's going to break up that information. Or if you came back over here and tried to fix this and you did this and then you start figuring out why is this stuff moving over to the right, it will. Whatever you're writing, it'll move it over too far. So you can't write too much. It'll be up to a certain spot. And let's say you're done there. All you do is tab it, and it goes to the spot that way. Okay, so that's the way you would do the experience as well. So here is qualities. Here is experience. And get away from all the text boxes. And you would do the same thing for achievements. Okay, references should be on that second page. There should be a header on the second page down here. And then references should be large enough to break it apart from all this information down at the bottom. Okay? So I just kind of showed you how to set up your um, resume into columns.